Okay, I want to make a couple of videos demonstrating my new plugin called Pattern Maker. It's a plugin for quickly creating different types of flooring patterns. In this first video, I will just go over the basic settings, the basic parameters, just to get you started. And once you install the plugin, you can find it in the advanced category Pattern Maker. If you want to create a new Pattern Maker, you first have to have a base object selected. Like if I wanted to create one right now, it would tell me to please select the base object first. So you have to have a spline shape or a plane like object selected first. So let's create a plane. Um, just for demonstrating, I will first uh, deselect the plane and try to make a pattern maker now. As you can see, it will still ask me to select the base object first. So you have to have the plane selected, then select the pattern maker and then you can click anywhere in the viewport and it will make the pattern. Uh, right now the plane I created was lying flat but basically it doesn't really matter in, uh, in which axis or direction the plane is. And the pattern should just uh, always follow the, the shape of the, the base object. As you can see. But for this demonstration I will just uh, have it laying flat, it's easier to see. And also, if you want to um, adjust your base object, you can just adjust it. Let's see, let's move this out a bit. If I update it now, it will just uh, update to the new shape. Okay, I've got nine different patterns to select from right now, which uh, are divided in three categories, one, two, and three which basically stands for uh, how many different shapes there are in a pattern. So for one there are just um, there's one different shape in the pattern, like only a rectangle shape, as you can see. And for two there are two different shapes, like a little square and a rectangle, or little square, big square. And for three, there's three different shapes. Um, you can just select it by Picking one, do update, it updates the pattern. Let me first select a little bit different color, maybe red. Okay. Uh, depending on which uh, pattern you select, uh, the interface will update. So, for example, for this pattern, you can see the row offset is uh, grayed out and is set to 60%. Because for this pattern, the row offset will always be 60%. For example, if I pick herringbone, you can see the row offset will always be 50%. Next, we have the presets. Um, it's just uh, it's possible to save and to load presets. For example, if I would quickly make a pattern, let's say 40, 1, 2, see like this I can fill in the name here test preset press the save button as you can see it's added to the list if I want to delete it again I can just select it press the delete button and it's gone again but for now I'll just uh, save it again so it's there uh, as you can see I've uh, created a Harrowbone Parkit uh, preset before can select it and then press the load button it will just load all the the par parameters all the settings for that preset and if I press now update as you can see you have the hiring one park at uh, preset if I want to go back to the other uh, preset I just made I can just select it load it up do an update and it's back again okay for the update method um, I do have an option for a live update but well, I, I normally I just never use it because uh, once the, the size of your base object and the, the amount of polygons or objects is creating, it just gets too slow. The plugin gets too slow to have live update on. Like right now, my um, base object is pretty small. I can just demonstrate. As you can see, it's not really working fluidly, but you could use it, but. I never do it because 
also if I have a turn off I can just uh, change more than one parameter then press update instead of it having to update for every little change I make and the basic uh, object parameters are just the basic uh, settings for the length, the width, the height and the gap and there's also the possibility to, uh, to fill at the edges um, if the pattern has like a squared uh, shape in it, like for example this pattern, then the, the big squared shape is uh, controlled by the length and the small squared shape is controlled by the width. So if I for example uh, go back to my hopscotch, you can see the small small brick will always be 15.1 by 15.1 and the big one 32.2 by 32.2. Okay, let's put up the height a bit higher. I will demonstrate the fillet. You can just uh, add a couple of segments, let's say two segments. Update now. It has nice uh, smoothed corners, smooth rounded corners. But normally I just leave this option at zero until the uh, very end because um, this is an option that really increases the, the time it takes to create the pattern. Like with two segments it took uh, 1.6 seconds. If I put it back to zero, you can see it only takes like, um, like a quarter of the time, like 0.4 seconds. And this is only for this small region. If your region, uh, if your base object gets a lot bigger and has to create a lot more polygons, then the amount of time will increase rapidly. So I would just uh, recommend to keep this at zero till the very end. Next you got the layout parameters. And basically let me select make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I can turn on live update and show you. Row sets is basically the offset of each row. The angle is you can just uh, rotate the whole pattern around. Offset x is just offset in the x direction and offset in the y direction. Next, I got the outline inset. This basically um, insets the outline a bit, as you can see. Uh, you can use it if you want to have like a uh, an edge of different uh, shaped bricks or maybe like uh, curb stones around your uh, your pattern. Okay, um, in the next video I will uh, go over the custom objects and the other options down here. See you in the next video.